Next question is from BJ Sayer. What are the best exercises to superset to get the most work in during my time in the gym? So there's a lot of different ways to do supersets. Um, so you could superset the same muscle group. You could superset different muscle groups, you know, single joint to compound exercises. But mm. if I had to pick one and I had to do it in order to save time, and my goal is always to build muscle, right? That's the, that's the goal with resistance training. I'm picking opposing muscle group uh, yeah, supersets. Yeah, love those. Yeah, because I'm doing, you know, bench press to barbell row um, would be a, a great example, or a shoulder press to a pull up, or something like that. So I'm hitting two opposing muscle groups, so I'm not doing tons of endurance for one muscle. Um, I, you know, Arnold was a big fan of this. He did a lot of, uh, you know, dips and pull ups. For example, was one super. That's one of my favorites, by the way. I don't know if you guys have done that, mm -hmm. where you go dips to pull ups. Yeah, just gives you a pump on on both sides of your body. I, I'm I'm with you on this. I don't disagree at all. The only thing that I would uh, say to add to that is that I would I would start posterior chain first, right? So, for example, you said the yeah. uh, rows and chest. Like I love. That's actually one of my favorite things to do. And I did a workout just like this the other day where I was crunch for time. And so every exercise I was supersetting and it was, you know, a posterior chain exercise followed by an anterior, right? So I would do something like a row first and then go into a bench press. And the mm -hmm. only reason why I say the row first in the bench press is because doing a row is going to prime the upper back and put you in a more advantageous position doing the chest press. If you chest press first and then go to the row, it's not as beneficial as far as putting you in the best position. Other than that, all the rest of them, you know, buys the tries, all that stuff I think is, uh, that's the best way, or that's the way that I personally like to do it when I'm crunched for time and I'm doing a full body routine. Totally. Yeah, I, I mean, I totally agree. I mean, this is just like an echo chamber in here, but I I think it's fun to to do like, a, if, if I'm working angles with my elbows for triceps, for instance, and I just hit it back and back, uh, you know, tricep exercises from different angles, you yeah. know, something like that. But, you know, that's just going to promote fatigue and that's cool if that's part of what I'm doing for, for that workout, then. That's well, that's fun. what ma and that's what makes the way that we're saying I think so superior is because it's not that there's not lots of other ways and lots of, you can do a compound exercise and then didn't do a single joint exercise you know and you can do the whole routine like that and there, there's nothing wrong with that but it, you're also when you're when you're doing that it, there's going to be a little bit of exhaustion so if you go to a chest press over to a tricep push down your triceps are involved a lot in a chest press and so you're going to be kind of weak when you go to the tricep push down right. nothing wrong with that. Just I don't think it's the I'm not gonna get the most out of my workout doing the opposing muscle group. You're gonna have a little bit of gas still. You're sure your energy's down a little bit because you just did an mm -hmm. exercise. But if you just go do a row, your chest is not gonna be fatigued at all. So then going to a chest press, you're gonna have the most gas for that in order to still get a lot out of your chest press. Versus if you go do a, a row you know, a heavy row, and then you go do bicep curls, yeah. your biceps are a little Maybe fried. Yeah, are a little fried from the rows already, so you're not going to be able to lift very much weight with the bicep curls. Yeah, and it, and it does encourage good form on, on some of these supersets, like you said, a row before a press. Here's some of my favorite uh, supersets. Anything bicep, tricep is a lot of fun. So arm supersets, great way to save time. And um, doesn't really there's there's it doesn't take away from straight sets that much because arms don't fatigue you that much. In fact, uh, nine out of ten times when I work out my arms, I go bicep uh, to tricep. Um, here's another fun one, and this is different than what we're talking about, but this is a lot of fun. Try going deadlift to pull up. That is a Ugh. that is amazing. Like do your do and this That's is how evil, I, dude. this is how I like to do it though. I like to go heavy deadlift, so like a, a set of two or three reps. So just very very heavy set. Then I jump up to the bar. So I'm literally deadlifting in front of a bar. Then I jump up to the bar, and then I'll do something like 10 reps. And the pump you get in your back yeah. is uh, it's it's insane. It's it, unheard of. It's also cool, too, because you actually – the pull-up will feel light. If yes. You're, if, you're pulling, if you're pulling two to three reps – Yeah, I'm yeah. not doing high reps with the deadlift. Yeah, right. if you're deadlifting, you know, in your case, that's you're easily doing over 350, so you're probably doing 400 pounds. And then you go do your pull your body weight up, which is only 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. You fly up the bar. It's a mm -hmm. really cool feeling, especially if you have a hard time doing pull-ups. It's amazing when you do that. I, I love just to show somebody that. It's just like, hey, go do a, one or two heavy uh, deadlifts and then watch how you get up yeah. on that pull-up bar. Now, for lower body, here's some of my favorite uh, other supersets. Let's say I'm working with someone who has trouble feeling like a squat in their hamstrings or their glutes. I'll do like a leg curl, maybe on a physio ball right next to the squat rack or hip thrust, then go straight to a barbell squat and I'll use really lightweight and then you get a crazy posterior chain pump. Let's say I'm working with someone that really wants to work the quads really hard. I'll go sissy squat or leg extension straight to a light squat. 
And I mean, three, literally three rounds of doing that properly, three, four rounds, your leg workout is done. And you get, again, another insane And you pump. can do like some paps at a time too, the heavy squats, and then do a couple box jumps after that. Oh, yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, if you want to puke for yeah. sure.